Hey guys, welcome back to Chris Collects Things. Today I have before you a lovely Sobleton. I believe I got this from Target online. Um, I think these run like these can run anywhere from $25 to $20. I think there was a Target Circle thing going on, so I got some percentage off. I want to say I got closer to $20. So, not a bad deal. Um, as you as you can see, it's got the lovely Intellion V as the promo card. Um, on the back, powerful partner Pokemon V from Galar. Grass, fire, and water types, the foundation of Pokemon Trainer's team. Choose the thunderous beat of Rylaboom V, the speedy fire and quick moves of Cinderace V, or the shifting, splashing moves of the clever Inteleon V in the Pokemon trading card game Galar Partners Tin. Each of these fantastic tins contain a full powered and entirely awesome V Pokemon, fully evolved from the first partner Pokemon of the Galar region. So I actually looked to see if there was more because I wanted to get one of each, but all I could find was the Sobble. I do want the Grokey one eventually because Grokey's my favorite and obviously the score bunny I would take just to collect, but yeah. For now, um, this was all I could find, so I guess we'll see in the future if more become available, but with the boom and Pokemon, who knows these days? Um, especially for MSRP. So, in this tin, you get one of three V cards. Obviously, we've got the Inteleon V, which sounds like a, a TV name or something. <laughs> um, five Pokemon trading card boosters. I, I'm expecting at least an evolution in here, I was told, so that's why I purchased this. Um, and a code card, as always. So, without further ado, let's open. Let us open this and see what wonders we have to unbox. All right. So, let's see if the plastic is one of the grip lock ones. I think they've been a little better recently. They just kind of pop off. And then you get the code card. To my collection. So, here's Inteleon. Sword and Shield 16. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Looks to be in pretty good condition. So I'm gonna sleeve this puppy. And hopefully his friends will be in my possession someday. But for now, we're just gonna have him all in his lonesome. His or her lonesome, I should say. A nice tin. I like the bigger tins as opposed to like the uh, these old ones I have. They're like a little smaller. I don't know if these ones, I wonder if it says on the bottom. Just gonna open it real quick for my own. This is one of the older tins. Three booster packs. So yeah, this was back from like the uh, platinum days, I think. Yeah, so like five or six years ago, and there's only three. And I got some smaller ones recently at uh, Walgreens, which had uh, Dragonite and Salamance. I don't think they really knew, but they had four packs, I believe. So five packs is very generous, 25 bucks. I mean, that's not a bad deal. So we had Sword and Shield. Um, another sword and shield. Ooh, unbroken bonds. I don't think I really have many unbroken bonds packs open. Burning shadows and evolutions as promised. So, not a bad, not a bad uh, pack variety in here. Sword and shield base. I don't think I've opened much of that, so I'm happy about that. The unbroken bonds. Definitely haven't opened much of that. Burning shadows, I probably opened the most. Burning shadows and evolution, I've opened the most of. So, do, 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 everything should be four cards for the trick, except for um, the XY, which is three. 
So we're, we're just gonna go, we'll go in this order. Unbroken Bonds, I'll, I'll keep second to last. Evolution's always last, that's the, the big one. So let's Snorlax eating the world here. Sword and Shield. Um, yeah, um, it's always exciting to open new packs. These pins are definitely nice, so if you can get them for under $24.99, I'd recommend it, especially if you're looking for evolutions. But well, that was a nice, that was a nice easy opening. <laughs> that pack's gonna be uh, possible for my binder. I like to keep, uh, I like to keep all the pack arts I can collect and like tape them to like binder dividers that I separate the sets into. It's probably like an OCD thing, but it's just kind of cool to have. All right, so we did the four cards. I did not, did not look at it. I'm gonna guess Fighting Energy, Psychic. Heat more, more heat. Metal Sasa, a Quick Ball, a Ball Toy, a Chin Chow, a Slizzard, get Slizzard, uh, a Zigzag, uh, another Yoshi's Woolly World M Muna. Ooh, nice, a nice Star Rare Reverse Hollow Frost Moth. I don't believe I have that card, so that looks cool, and a holographic Gengar, nice. Don't believe I have this. Gengar is definitely one of my favorite ghost type Pokemon, so. Not a bad pack. And again, we have the white code card, which means we were getting a hollow. But we got two star rares out of that. I don't know if that always happens, but we're going to, again, here's the the patented store the cards in here until you want to put them in your binders or um, case them. Like I like these BC, BC dub, BC dub, BC dub top loaders. Um, yeah, and I obviously have my penny sleeves. I like the Ultra Pro ones. If anybody, I, I keep mentioning this, anybody, the Ultra Pro ones are good for the card sleeves, like here. But like, not always the binder pages, sometimes it like bulks up kinda. I like it nice and tight to the card. So if anybody knows of any ones that are tight to the card aside from the Epic Trainer, Elite Trainer box ones you get, because those are very nice. Like something like that size is perfect. I haven't been able to find one. I have like a bunch of my old ones from when I was collecting like five or six years ago. And basically, um, some of those are good, some uh, hit or miss, because I just store them in one of my like tins here. They're kind of hit or miss. Some are tight and some aren't. So yeah. There's my uh, requests out there. If anyone knows, let me know. Um, I saw something like, I think it's like Titan Shield or something. I'm, I'm wondering if they have nice ones like that. But I haven't tried those yet. So if anybody's tried like Titan Shield, I think it's called Titan Shield. There's also like something with a dragon name. All right, so green code card, non-hollow. One, two, three, four. Um, what was the last one? I'm gonna get Steel Energy. Fire. Switch. An updated Switch card. A Ferrothorn. A, a Raboot. I was say a Reboot. Reboot! Galarian Ponyta. Sobble. Appropriate for the tin. A Mark Cactus. A Mud Bray Wyatt. Follow the Buzzards. A Pawn Stars. A Reverse, a sweet Reverse Hollow Score Bunny. That's a sweet graphic. In a non hollow Drapion, I know I have a bunch of these, so that's a bit underwhelming. But hey, what can you do? You can't have a win every time. So, again, patented, put, put those with the sword and shield ones. Let's go burn in shadows. Um, yeah, so uh, what was I wanted to talk about? Yeah, so recently I've actually been playing the Pokemon trading card game on the Game Boy. I believe it was Game Boy, not Game Boy Color. Um, I still have my version, but... <laughs> white code cards, that's good. But I can't locate my Game Boy Advance SP charger, and the battery's dead, so... I've, I've moved my office a few times because we had like a relative living with us briefly um, in between jobs and whatever. 
So I probably just threw it in a box somewhere and I, I haven't located it again. A lot of my game systems I had to move from my room to like make space and put in the attic, so yeah. Grass. All right, darkness. <clears throat> Ribo, Ribomi, Curlia, Olivia, Olivia Munn, more lulls, Sandy Gast, Venipede, Horsey, I like that horsey, uh, another Mud Bray Wyatt, Oh, nice. This is sweet. A reverse hollow rare uh, slow king. I'm liking the artwork. And a nice, a, a holographic paleo sand. I, I prefer the keto sand, but I guess I'll go paleo as well. <laughs> bad joke. Hashtag bad dad joke. <clears throat> so anyways, we are down to the last two packs. Like I said, I was playing the... Go back on that. I've been playing the... Uh, Trading card game on the Game Boy, and we're having pretty much pretty fun with. It. I think I'm like three or four badges in. Um, the Haymaker deck from back in the day was OP, man. So you had like your your Jungle Scyther. You had. Um, I really wish I could get this pack. Uh, well, it, the front's good, so I can put that in my binder. Yeah, the jungle site there was I saying, yeah, Electa uh, base set Electa Buzz, so green, no hollow. Um, four cards. And Hitmon and base Hitmonchan. Um, basically you can, you can also substitute in uh, Fossil Magmar, um, or I think it's Movie Mewtwo with the Cyburn. It's got like three energies, it does about like, I don't know, 40 or 50 damage. <clears throat> A uh, bunch of trainers, and like uh, you throw some double colorless energy, and because Scyther doesn't need any grass energy aside from the Swords Dance. So I threw some in there because of the Swords Dance, so you can do 60 instead of 30, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, I mean, winning's fun. It definitely makes it a little easy, from what I heard. Uh, let's go grass since we're talking about it. But yeah, fun game. I'd recommend it if anyone likes to play the, the old games. I don't really know the new meta, so I haven't played like the online yet. Fairy Churn. But eventually, I got all these code cards to burn, so. Crocorock. A Gravla. Rhyhorn. Meltan. Nice, my boy Meltan again. That's cool to see. I only got one Meltan card that I got in that mystery power cube over there, but I don't want to talk about that. Slowpoke in a hot tub. A whoop, there it is. A sand dial. A reverse hollow Caterpie. And a non hollow Licky Licky. So, hopefully, the Evolutions pack will live up. That Unbroken's pack. I haven't, I haven't opened many Unbroken Bonds, so I was kind of hoping for some some sweet hollow there, but I'll have to do with the Caterpie. Yeah, Pokemon Trading Card Game with Game Boy, great game. Um, there's a second one that was released only in Japan. It's called like Team Great Rocket or something like that. There's an English transaction, transaction, translation ROM, which I don't know if I've beaten it, but I definitely played it. So it's definitely fun to play. So I'd recommend it. I haven't played through the whole thing, but I assume it's more of the same, just they have like uh, Team Rocket cards, I think. I don't know if it goes into any Gym Challenge cards or Gym Heroes, but yeah, fun game. Anyways, Evolution, let's summon the old Charizard. We're still looking for the base set Zard. Um, one of my other recent videos, I got, I pulled a Mega Blastoise, so that's cool. And I know I have like the, uh, I think I have the Full Art Charizard, Mega Charizard. And I have a Charizard EX, but I don't have the base set one. I also don't think I have the base set Blastoise or Venusaur, so I'd be happy with those two. But I really want the Charizard. So, <laughs> summon the Charizard. All right, these evolution packs. I'm really hoping there's a restock some days. <laughs> I don't know. It's really old set, but like everybody wants it, so I feel like it'd be in their best interest to do that because all the scalpers are making money off of these because that's last i saw like, you can get a pack it was like 20 bucks on like troll and toad it had been like 10 dollars and, and then 15 now it's up to 20 and then then aaron paul aaron paul logan 
Logan Paul, Logan Paul, whatever. White code card, so all right, we're expecting something great in this. I don't know if you guys can see that because I kind of put the cards down. Um, he spent $2 million on like six first edition booster boxes. Yeah, I think he's gonna open some February 27th. And I think he's also trying to sell individual packs from one of them or a couple of them, I don't know. But he has like, oh, the bidding starts at $10,000. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I can definitely afford one of those. I mean, I guess if you have a $2 million investment, he's hoping to get some significant money back because that's a hefty investment. So with it's six, I don't know, man. It just sounds like a lot. I don't know how much they're going for. I mean, I thought it was like 40, well, the first edition is so gotta be over 100K. I don't know, man, that's, that's ridiculous. So anyways, the price of Pokemon is probably just gonna keep rising and rising. It's gonna crash eventually though, so. All right, uh, no energy, uncommon. So it could be trainer, could be, uh, I always guess a Pokemon. I usually guess Nidorino or Machoke. I'm gonna go, or a Kakuna I've been getting recently. Let's go Machoke. All right, Misty's Determination, yeah, uncommon trainer, okay. And we got a special card looking back there. So this is gonna be a great pack, no matter what. Blastoise Spirit Link, Haunter, Fire Energy, Vulpix, Tangela, uh, Chop, 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 Weedle. Ooh, nice. I think I already have one of these, but that's the reverse holographic energies are pretty cool. I know I have like a fire one. I think I have a fairy one. And the next card I think is gonna be a doozy, guys. It's got a gold border. I think it's gonna be a great card. Oh, it's a full art trainer. Okay, these have been all the rage lately, so I can't complain. A full art Misty's Determination Trainer. This is a good pull. This is a, this is a fantastic pull, actually. So like, we're gonna sleeve her. This is probably the best pull of that that set. I mean, I think we went five packs. I think we went three for five with hollows. Cause I think I see, yeah, I see two green cards. I know the unbroken bonds was one. I think one of the sword and shields was another one. So yeah, that's not too bad. Um, like I said, five, if you pay like about $25, you're getting about $5 a pack. So right now it's a steal for an evolutions. I mean, if they're expecting like twenty dollars, you're paying like what five less than five dollars more, and you're getting like four other packs. I'm all about like the the deals, basically the bulk deals. So hey, all right, it was good good haul. Uh, not our best haul, but can't complain. Can't complain. So anyways, people. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see in the future. I'll keep doing these openings. Um, the channel's called Chris Collects Things, so eventually I'm hoping to do other collect things. I'm just like really caught up in Pokemon because it's one of my favorite hobbies. So uh, I'm de definitely going to be kept up with that in the future. And uh, I'm thinking of like other types of videos, maybe like. Like, like how I organize my binders, how I organize my extras. Like uh, that's still a work in progress. But once I'm done with that, I'll definitely show that off. So I've had some interest there. So anyways, like, subscribe, comment, uh, be kind to each other, and stay safe. See you guys later.